Um, this is Syed, and uh, welcome to our Arduino guides, um, the sixth installment. Um, glad that you've made it this far. Um, we're going to start doing some slightly more complex programs. Um, we're making a uh, Arduino Oracle machine that can tell your fortune um, by using a, a random number generator that's built into the Arduino. And um, let's take a look at our circuit. Um, here you can see uh, that there's a button, Arduino, and a servo. Um, the button takes input, um, and the Arduino generates a number, and then it moves the servo to a random place. Um, let's take a look at our code. So we have a button pin and a servo pin. So a uh, button is uh, input uh, at A0, and servo is output on 5, or D5. Um, and then we have button state and random number. Button state is a value that um, uh, comes from the button itself, and uh, the random number is the random number that is generated uh, by the Arduino. Um, then we have a boolean um, called get random number. Get random number um, uh, checks if we've g got a random number or not. Um, it's set to false at first, um, and you'll see why this is important in just a bit. Okay, let's uh, go down to setup. Setup seems pretty straightforward. Um, servo pin is output, button pin is input. Um, and here we go. So, um, so we use a decision structure um, to check if um, uh, we've gotten the random number, um, right? In, and if it's set to false, which is the initial um, setting, um, we're going to call a function called our track mode. This is a function we've created on our own. And a track mode in games is basically something that brings you into the game. Um, uh, in this case, if we scroll down, um, uh, this attract mode just moves the arm back and forth, um, making it uh, a slightly more welcoming, um, uh, a more welcoming uh, game. Um, so now we uh, come down here, um, we get the um, state of our, oops, um, there you go, sorry about that. Um, we get the state of our button. Um, uh, which is uh, uh, which uh, where we use digital read and we pass in the button pin, um, and then we um, we check if the uh, if we've already generated a random number. Um, if we haven't, then we assign random number to a random uh, a random value between zero and two, um, and then I've added a, a little bit of a delay. Um, just so uh, I've, I've noticed that this helps with uh, the, the random number generation. I'm um, not entirely sure why. It's kind of undefined behavior. Um, so then we go down here. If the button state is high, um, that means if uh, uh, the button is, um, uh, is being pressed, um, since we're using digital read, we can just use high and low. Um, then do this block of code. Um, so um, we set get random number to true. We've gotten the random number. And then we, um, we do stuff with the random number accordingly. So we check if the random number is equivalent to 1. Um, we use a relational operator, um, which is just these two equal signs. So one equal, signs, one equal sign uh, um, assigns value to a variable, two equal signs um, checks for equivalency. So, so um, if this is true, then move the servo uh, to some point, um, and so on and so forth. Um, now, if we go down to move servo, again, move servo is a function we've defined. If you go down here, you'll see that um, we take our fortune, which is a number that's passed into this function, and then we move the servo accordingly. So um, if our fortune, fortune is zero, it'll go to zero. If it's um, one, and then it goes to 125, and then if it's... Um, if it's anything else, it goes to 230. Um, so um, these correspond to um, the different play, the different um, uh, the different options you get when you're um, 
um, when you're moving your um, servo arm. So I can go to yes, no, or maybe. Um, you can define it any way you want. There's a graphic that can help you out as well um, that's in the guides. Um, and then we set our get random number to false. So once we do that, it goes back to the attract mode. And um, oh, also the delay is set to 2000. So once a fortune has been given, it sticks there for 2000 so you can see it. And then after that's up, um, it, sets it, it sets get random number to false. And then it goes back to the attract mode um, for the next player. And that's it. Um, um, Join me for um, some more tutorials. Um, we'll have a few more after this, and uh, it's going to get more and more interesting um, now that we have a pretty solid background in computer programming now.